Hey, how's we doing? It's Doc Liff here, and welcome back to College Football Revamped, Episode 2 of the Kentucky Wildcats Dynasty Mode. This time, we're taking on the Miami of Ohio, and also this time, we're going to do this live to switch things up. Uh, some people wanted to see the depth chart currently, and I'm going to go through that real quick, and then we'll get into the game, and then recruiting afterwards, possibly. So, QB-wise, I think we have whatever red shirt it gave me standard. That's what I went with, just to try to keep it... You know, a decision that wasn't necessarily mine to make, considering this season's already happened. But uh, Terry's starting quarterback, and we have Bo Allen and Sawyer Smith. Bo Allen is pretty much rumored to be the next person up, but given given the circumstance, given recruiting, I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, considering we have like two seniors here. It's kind of rough. I have a lot of quarterback choices, so that's good at least. Uh, for halfback, we got plenty of good ones here. Chris Rodriguez, obviously being the better one in the game. A.J. Rose, close. He's definitely going to get some snaps. You saw that in the last video. And then we have Smoke, who definitely excited for for next season since uh, Rose is going to be gone and we'll have a pretty much a dual head here and maybe even uh, Gay from recruiting. He's supposed to be a very good running back as well. Fullback, we don't really have anybody. It's just our tight ends. Wide receiver, this is kind of just anyone who plays well type of thing. Like, obviously you have Demarcus Harris who has the best speed, but then you have some of these other guys. You have uh, Daly Jr. getting the plus one overall boost from last game. Josh Ali, Bryce Oliver, all of them have a place. So well, I guess we'll just see who performs the best out of all of those. Tied in wise, we have Rig and Upshaw. Um... I'd like to get Keaton Upshaw a little bit more playing time out of this. Also, Brennan Bates. But it's maybe maybe look for playbooks that have dual tight end setups, and we can probably capitalize with that. And then our blocking is absolutely one of the best in the nation. Left tackle, 90 overall. We got a left, left guard's our weakest spot, obviously. Center, 92. Right guard, 87. And right tackle, 93. So that tells me that we should have success running the football in this dynasty mode at least this first season uh we have a good obviously one of the best defenses like it's really weird it's definitely a top 30 defense i would say overall wise in the game because we don't really have much of a weakness on the squad so if you just scroll here through here i mean middle linebacker i guess for the second one but like i mean this is pretty solid like you can't really ask for much better than this to start out with kicker you know, kickers going to be kickers. But we also have one of the best punters in the nation, Max Duffy. So that should be interesting to look at. So let's go ahead and get in this game against Miami of Ohio. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the Bluegrass, Kentucky fans not only rabidly passionate about their basketball team, but their football program as well. And the Wildcats with a chance at Commonwealth Stadium to score a signature victory today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Okay, so Miami elected to kick. They actually won the toss, so... We're going to get the ball first, so let's make this a good drive off the rip here from kickoff. Uh, 20 yard return. Let's see what we can do on offense. All right, so here we go with the first play. It looks like they're going to be maybe in a man cover two situation. This should be a successful run, maybe. Breaking a few tackles. Kind of lucky to get through there, okay, but Chris Rodriguez picking up six on the play. Can't complain. All right, so second four situation here. We got sort of a stick play. Let's see. What we can do here, just going to hit the flat, and that is not good at all. Okay, so let's see if we can make up for that blunder of a play going backwards. Uh, we're really looking at Josh Ali on this one for the route, so let's hope that he can get open. He's still not open. I'm going to have to throw it on the run, and it goes right by him. So kind of a risk there. Not what we wanted on our first drive. All right, so I'm not quite what to expect here uh they're going no backs in the backfield here so that is kind of random 
He wants to scramble. I, I swear, if we play against another scrambling quarterback, Quentin Bohanna with the sack, nice way to spy the quarterback, even though it wasn't necessarily his job to do so. Okay, so after that first play, I have initiated uh, Watson as a spy, and I will control square here to see what happens. He's spying him good, and um, I'll take that. That's giving up seven, but it's a third and eight situation. Okay, so we're going pretty standard here. I'm not sure what they want to do. I am going to spy, kind of just patrol the middle of square here. And it's a screen. Hopefully we can get out to that, and he is tackled for a one-yard loss. Nice open field tackle. Nice way to control that. Okay, so we got very good field position after that punt. They just punted it square out of bounds because they are terrified of Josh Ali. So let's see what this run can give us. Bounce it to the outside, and nice little gain of five there. Ideally, I'd like to have the offense clicking in all cylinders here, so I'm going to try to open up the pass game a little bit because the run game looks good. And he's going to have to scram he's going to have to scramble for this one. Yeah, that that was the right play. I didn't see anything open. But uh Terry Wilson, the more he uses his feet, the more active we can get him. Okay, again going back to the run on first down here. I think it's had some success for us in setting up some second down plays at least. And this time we won't need it. Chris Rodriguez with the first down after a 10-yard gain. Okay, so going with another short passing play here. Uh, try to get Wilson uh, hitting his marks early. We'll, we'll see. I don't see anything open here. Uh, we'll just throw that out. I saw a triangle, but I don't think it was very worth it. Okay, again, I know our run game's been good. We got to get the passing game going at least. I like the routes on this one, so we'll see what happens. Kind of a bad pass, but I, it's going to be a decent gain or enough of a decent gain, third and four. Okay, so we'll see how they cover this. We're going to go with a mesh play here and hopefully hit either Rig or Daly over, over the middle here. And it looks like it's going to be Daly who makes himself available, like, just like last time. Hopefully... Hopefully we keep this man involved. All right, so back to the run on first down here again. This should be good. We have blockers. Ah, he did not pick that. He did not pick up that block, even though we gained three yards. Okay, so we got another third down here. We definitely need to be better at converting these. Again, Daly and Thomas seem like the ones to look out for. We're gonna have to just trust him. Mmm. Almost picked off. We need to be a little bit more careful there. Okay, so we got three points out of that drive at least. Really hard to tell what Miami Ohio is going to do. I guess we'll just see what their game plan is. Oh, man. I, that was one of the fastest passes I've seen. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at this. Immediately. I thought I was going to have a pick. All right, so here we are. They have a first down out of that. It looks... Oh, the read option. This guy likes to scramble and he likes to run. A.J. Meyer. We'll see how we can contain him. We obviously have experience. Okay, so second one. They are not. Well, they might run it. They're trying to run it. <laughs> he tried to escape, but we end up getting the sack for one yard. He just ran into absolutely a line of people, a line of his own guys. He didn't try to break it to the outside. Just try, tried to power his way through and couldn't get there. Okay, so they haven't really put the ball on the ground and ran it yet, so I'm just going to assume that's what they're going to do. I'm actually going to sell mainly here. That was a great gap, but he broke the tackle. The gap was there. Man, that's that's tough. All right, so another first and ten for Miami of Ohio. Let's see what they do with it. Man in motion. And he looks to be open, and he's going to catch it. I think we got our hands full this game. That's what it looks like so far, at least. Four for four, 38 yards, has not missed. He is on fire. See, over the middle. Ah, man, we just can't. We just can't contain that. Like it's, I feel like we can jump these routes. We're capable. Still perfect so far. Hasn't missed. We gotta try to hold him to a field goal here, or try to 
turn them over, one or the other. He's gonna try and scramble. Trying to scramble again. He's going to get another seven-yard gain. We might just have to spy him at all times. We're not quite getting pressure to the quarterback at the rate I would like, even though we have technically two sacks so far. And that is another read option. He almost broke another one. This man is dangerous. All right, so now it really is a test for our defense. Is our goal line defense going to be capable of coming up with stops when you need them to? And it looks like he's going to try to scramble. Only going to get a couple. Gain a one. So that's a good contain. We're going to have to try to make him throw the ball here. Okay, we stuffed the run. I'm daring them to throw. They don't want to do it this close. They're going to have to next time, though, I'd imagine. Okay, they are going to throw it. He sees a man, but he overthrows him. I think we had that pretty well covered, a pretty well designed play to stop that, and that is going to be the end of the first quarter as well. Okay, so after a decent return, after three points, it is a tie football game. We have a first and ten. This doesn't necessarily look like the greatest run play, so I'm going to call an audible here to a pass. Um... Let's see. I don't know Oliver's route over there. That's the thing. Man, they, they're getting pressure. I couldn't set my feet there. This is a pretty strong defense, apparently. Now we got a second and ten. I'm going to try to put the ball back on the back in the hands of Chris Rodriguez here and see what he can do. Hopefully I just don't see a run on second and ten, but only three yards. Okay, so let's see. This should be... Halfway decent. I'm definitely looking at triangle or square here pre. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a drop. Perfect pass. Man. The only time that Wilson throws like a perfect pass or is able to this game, it's dropped. All right, so defense definitely has to come up big here. We cannot afford them to put any points on the board if we want to maintain a lead. And it looks like he wants to scramble again. I don't know what it is. First two games of the season, we're playing against scrambling quarterbacks. Very fast to make a decision, for sure. Second and 11, we're going to play more pass heavy here. He's trying to take off again. Look at him. What's wrong with these quarterbacks wanting to take off constantly? This is madness. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to play over the middle of the square here. Back up a little bit. I mean, if we give something away down low, that's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was just wide open. Man. Okay, so let's see what they have in store for us on first and ten here. Looks like play action over the middle. And it is too late. Man, too little, too late. A.J. Meyer. Right, we're going to go back to the run game here on first down. See what we can do on the ground and then try, try to open up the pass game from there. Counter seems to be good. About eight yards on the play. That's what we needed. Need to have a spark right now. Let's keep it on the ground as long as it's successful here. Second and two. Can't necessarily go wrong. Another nice game. Think about just keeping it on the ground for a little bit. Okay, so this is interesting. They, I think we should probably get four to five yards out of this. We could audible, but I believe... Oh, wow, he gets tack just gets caught up. He, They are breaking through. Look at this. Just unblocked until it was too late. My goodness. Right, we're going to go back to the passing game here. Just a little too long to set up a third down run. For my liking, so we'll see what we can get here. Try to stay in the pocket. Just hit the guy underneath. Very slow for some reason upon catching. Maybe because he's ran the ball the past four four drives. Four times. Alright, so we got a third and five here. Over the middle looks pretty good right now. Possibly. Let's just go ahead and throw that. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Thomas with a 36-yard reception. Just... That was just going to be wide open if they're just going to leave that gap. Perfectly timed there. All right, so let's keep up this momentum. We're driving down the field pretty well right now. See what we can do on a first down run again. Just keeps getting held up. Like, there's no sense of direction there. Just kept 
falling backwards. Okay, so that sets up a second and nine. We're going to try for another play over the middle here. I saw him. Can't quite get in the end zone. He gets clotheslined for it, but first and goal. Terry Wilson has to make some plays with his legs here early. I don't like it, but getting a little bit out of our comfort zone might be what we need. All right, back to the run game. Let's see if we can't punch one in here. Well blocked. Can't quite get it. That's going to be on the one. A lot of interesting play calls we can play here. Okay, so I think we might have the advantage if we just go fullback dive here. Could be wrong. We'll see what happens. It, it, it only depends on what that guy's going to do in the up left there. But we'll see. It looks good to me. Keaton Upshaw. We got him on the field somehow. And he gets a rushing touchdown for it. One yard rushing touchdown. Great drive. We were probably going to go for it on fourth down, to be honest, if we had to. All right, so they've got about two minutes and 19 seconds to work with here. I think it's going to be throw, 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 throw. So let's try to just contain the quarterback from running. Um, as I said, he's going to get nine on the play. Okay, so I'm going to be the QB spy here. Just make sure he doesn't run. Kind of play passing plays over the middle. Try not to buy it so hard on rushes. I mean, we'll live with that, I suppose. Zach Kahn, though. My goodness. I would assume this has to go through the air one way or another. And he's trying to scramble again. We got him. That's going to be a tackle for a loss. I'm thinking about calling the timeout. They call the timeout instead. That is really interesting. So we'll see what happens here. I think our advantage is if we can just play good coverage. And if he tries to scramble, we'll just be here for it. That is just an excellent break. Like, that had to be well-timed. That is kind of ridiculous. Just breaks left, finds him. Thrown as he turns. Wow. Okay, so we're going to kind of go man here and see what we can do over a zone. Man, he's just leaving him. I thought he's playing man. That is definitely too much space allowed for sure. Okay, second and 11. We got we to gotta pretty much make this a difficult field goal for him. That's going to be caught, but not for a whole lot there. Third and eight. They're going to run the hurry up here. We, I got faith in our defense to play this. And it's going to be left wide open. Shouldn't have had faith. Should have called timeout. Got us, got us rested, apparently. They're going to run the hurry up again here. No timeout again. Oh, man, he found him in the back of the end zone, but it's dropped. Okay, so if they want to run it, I'm going to dare them because they only have one the one timeout. Ah, and they found him over the middle. Just didn't have enough pressure on the quarterback. Okay, so I'm not going to risk too much. We do have the three timeouts. We'll just see what we can get out of making, trying to make concise throws here with Wilson. That's open. And we'll just go ahead and get out of bounds there, I think. Yep, 30-yard reception for Allen Daly again, coming up huge. I don't know if it's the right play to go for the touchdown necessarily, so we're just going to try to get some yardage here at all costs. It is a kind of a windy day as well. We're just going to try to call timeout here and just get in a good field goal position. Maybe take a shot if it's there, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to have Ollie streaking here just to see if he gets open, and then Oliver across the middle if we absolutely have him. Just going to toss it. Let's see if he can go get it. Not quite. Okay, this might not be the right call, but we... We got wind against this 54-yard field goal. I think it's better to try for three, even though this is a hard kick. Full power, though. Let's see if it goes in. It has the distance, and that is a 54-yard field goal. So we got something back going into the second half here. Okay, so now they have a first and five after the return, after a penalty. So we'll see. They're going to run the ball. If they're going to run the ball, that's something we can definitely stop. We cannot stop them through the air, though. 
All right, we're going to sell out to the run a little bit here. I think they're going to try to go run heavy in the second half at least. And he's just going to break every tackle known to man and just juke around everybody at the speed of lightning. Unreal. So my theory is we've got to put pressure on this quarterback and or rush in general. So it's a good open field tackle. But man, they are chipping away at us every time. Yeah, but as I said before, I definitely want pressure on this quarterback when he is throwing the ball. So we'll see if we can't cause that. What kind of blown coverage is that? What is that? How do you get that open? Like, what kind? Okay, let's just track the football. I don't understand that one. Okay, so on the replay here, if we look at it, I don't, I don't really understand. We have a safety that's covering the middle there, but then we just, they just crisscross. He doesn't even keep up with him. He just stops, and then they switch roles, like in the middle of that. They, they miscommunication on the right side of the field there. Complete blunder. Okay, so we have some ground to make up. We're going to have to have a sense of urgency to score pretty quickly, at least, but I'd still like to switch in some runs every now and then. See, hit out of the backfield here. Short gain. We'll work with it. We're going to go back to the ground here on second and seven for the moment. At least he fought for the extra yardage. That was like a Madden moment right there. It's like he's got skills or something. Okay, we'll see what they give us here on defense. Very standard look. Ooh, they're they're bringing someone up right here. We could. We're going to have to get that out immediately. Here goes Chris Rodriguez. Can he break the outside not quite that's a very good read by terry wilson pressure in his face got rid of the football rodriguez made himself available wide open that's what happens when he just sold out for the blitz okay so another pass play on first down here feeling pretty good about it right now wide open over the middle Ooh, he gets clobbered though trying to hit him with a spin move as soon as he catches it I knew that something was going to be open if Terry was rolling out. But we're finally getting something going on offense. We just need our defense to step up. It looks like this is a first and 10, but they're not giving us first and goal. But they're also not giving us an opportunity to get the first down. So this is just extremely odd. All right, so we're going to hit them with the first play action here as long as they're not completely blitzing. But I think this should be something if they bite on it. So we'll see. I mean, something was there. It's at least going to give us a third and two situation or a third and goal. So we'll see what we can set up here. Okay, so from what I see, it looks like they're kind of giving us the run here. I think we can beat them to it. Yeah, they just gave us the run, gave us the touchdown. That's a touchdown for Chris Rodriguez. So kind of a weak coverage there. I don't know what they expect us to do. We did spread it out a little bit, but still, they gave us that. I think it's I think it's probably smart if we try to go for two here at least. Let us know where we're at if we go for it early. Uh, we could run the ball again. They're kind of giving us to it. I mean, yeah. Let's let's call an audible here to a run, and I think I think we can probably get it here. Not quite. It gets stuff. Maybe we should have stuck with the pass play. Okay, so. This absolutely has to be a stop. We cannot afford Miami of Ohio to take advantage of us. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually take uh, Pascal here and drop him back in coverage as soon as this play starts to give us an opportunity. And it's too late. Get it? Who? That should have been contested or picked or something, but it's just available over there. And I'm not sure why. See, just what is that hesitation right there? Okay. New set of downs for him. Contain, contain, contain. 
This dude is slinging the rock right now. Okay, we're gonna... We are going... We're just gonna sell out to the run here. They are calling an audible, bringing him in and out. Quick hitter, almost picked off. Well deflected. Okay, so we're bringing the pressure again here. We're just gonna try to get in his face. Make him make a decision, but that's wide open. I guess that's the downside to that. Okay, empty backfield here. The only way that they can run is if he takes off. What are you doing? What is that? What? Someone is about to get cut from this team. If that's the same person. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Just stand there. Just stands there and watches this man run for a first down plus. Man, I mean, it's hard whenever people just don't play. It's really difficult when people just don't want to play football. Man, alive. However, I do think Terry Wilson has been kind of dialed in, so we'll see if he can start hitting people in stride here. You gotta hang on to the ball, man. Like, gosh. We can't do anything. Okay, this is a necessity. We got a few routes here that have some promising looks to them, so we'll see how this plays out. And roll out right. It's just not open. It's just not open. Okay, so that's a pretty good punt by Max Duffy. Look at that. Okay, so punting had to the punt there. I mean, Max Duffy coming up huge. So now they got to start this drive on the three and a half or four. We're not. Listen. This isn't a pass. This isn't a pass. This isn't a pass. We're just going to plug it. Yeah, just plug it. They're not passing. Probably want to pass the ball after that. So we'll see what they do. Looks like they're just going to let the clock tick down to a certain degree. They're going to run the ball. How are we not ready for that? I mean, we're sending, what, sending four or five and then just too late reactionary. Picked off by Square. He dives immediately because I was jamming it. What a pick. Baited them to that one. And look at this field position. <laughs> very Looks very odd after that. Looks like he just tripped. But what a defensive play. So we have a very balanced attack so far, even though we've been asked to do a lot more of the offense than usual here. So we'll see. We're just going to hit that immediately. Take the yardage. Seven yards. That'll set us up with something. All right, so this is a position where we've shown that we can run the ball on third and three. So this is going to be a play action. And hopefully, yes, rig will be open. Perfect. Perfectly designed play for the scenario. Second and eight. I think a run here would put them off. I would guess. I don't. We've mainly thrown the ball in second and eight situations. I don't know how advanced this computer is, but they're going to give us the first and goal off of that. So we got we got some time to work with, and we got some ground to work with. Okay, so again, the run looks good here. I'm just going to hock it immediately before they make an audible or a change. We need that block, sir. Yep, there we go. Christopher Rodriguez in again. Okay, so we elected to go for one because two didn't really do anything for us, so... This will give us kind of a cushion. Square trying to make another play. Nowhere to go with that one. Coverage sack. Okay, so I'm actually going to control Watson here, I think, because he's supposed to be on a blitz. I really just want the coverage here. If we can just keep them from getting a first down, I think that would be more crucial. He's throwing on his back foot. Please just make a play. No interception on that. Wow, he forced that one into double coverage, and he doesn't get pen penalized for it. That's crazy. Okay, so Josh Ali... Got us nine yards, set us up in a decent field position here. Again, we're going to keep it on the ground. There's still plenty of time on the clock. Chris Rodriguez is having himself a day. Are right, we going to give Chris a break here for just a half second and throw the ball? I do like the idea of keeping it on the ground if we can gain yardage, though. And it looks like just set your feet and throw that, Terry. Yeah, we got a guy. I don't know if I really like the look of a run here, but I think it should get us a few to set up second down, so we're going to do it anyways. He's waiting for the read option on the outside there, and that's going to get us nine. Very good. 
So on second and inches here, I think it gives us a few options. Obviously, we can run the ball, and I think we'll get the first down regardless with how our run game's been going. But we might as well take a shot here. Um, that was wide open. We'll take it for a little extra yardage. Okay, we could still stick on the ground. Rose is in the game. I kind of want to give him a carry. I think we'll do just that. Now we're lining up in single file here. This should be pretty good if they're blitzing the edges at all. And they kind of did. They focused on the edges, containing the edge, and that allowed A.J. Rose to go up the middle. Okay, so I don't know if they're going to be on to the run yet. We could probably pass here and try to get something. I, it's really, really, really odd. We'll see if we can get anything out of the pass here. Chris Rodriguez is in, and he's having himself a day. That's his third touchdown of the day, and I think we'll be going for the two-point conversion to go up by a full field goal. So we do have a stick play here. I would like Wilson to run, possibly, if he, if need be. Depends on what they send. I think that's open. There it is. Okay, so we got a QB spy. I'm going to be square over the middle here. Man, Sorensen's just a heck of a receiver. Jack Sorensen. Six receptions for 163 yards. This man is a torch. All right, second and nine empty. We're actually going to change a little bit of formation here. Last second. He's going to take off and scramble, and we tackle him for a three-yard loss. What a play. Third and 13 here. Absolutely crucial stop. We'll see if they get into field goal range or if they're comfortable with kicking from this far. It's almost, I don't know how far it'd be. It's a screen play and he's tackled for a loss. What a play to read the screen. Absolutely perfect. Just a torpedo. Okay, so obviously... You don't want to be that person that be, that's so conservative that you turn the ball over to them, but I trust our defense if they do stop us. So I'm just going to keep it on the ground, make them use the timeouts. Our ground game has been excellent, so we'll see what they can do. Second and one, bring it on. Again, we're just going to load up the run. I don't even know why they're defending the pass. I would be making us throw the ball right now. First down might end the game here. Yeah, I think that ends it. And look at this. We decided to run the ball one more time. Christopher Rodriguez, man alive. What a day. What a win. What a comeback win. That shows the substance of this team right here. Got down early at home. Home crowd pulled through. We came back with critical plays on offense. Christopher Rodriguez, my goodness. So just a quick look at the player stats here. Terry Wilson, 69% completion percentage, 18 to 26, 201, one touchdown, no picks. Definitely played a more down-to-earth game. We didn't give him that many throws to make. Very simple throws. Didn't put him in a situation where he could be really picked off or something like that. He did fumble, but it was picked up. So pretty solid day from Terry when it comes to passing. <sighs> A.J. Mayer, Meyer, whatever you want to call him, had a, had himself a day passing the ball, but just too late. Too late. We made the comeback. We made the plays when it mattered. And now we'll go to uh, the rushing game here. I mean, this is insanity. Absolute insanity. 24 attempts. Chris Rodriguez. 147 yards, 6 yards per attempt, 2 touchdowns. And, I mean, we even had... A.J. Rose getting involved. I would have liked to have seen him have a few more carries because in speed situations, we might have to work him in some different way. But remember, Keaton Upshaw had a rushing touchdown this game. And also we go to Miami of Ohio. They had the attempts with their quarterback and their running back. Who they only played one running back. So, you know, their running attack wasn't that threatening. It started to look that way, but it ended up just being... A, a smoke flare for their uh, throwing game. So, I mean, that's insane. If we look at their receiving, Sorensen seems like one person always has just a crazy game, but Jack Sorensen is just, just a jackal. And then just a pretty average 
from the rest there. And then we'll go to ours. Pretty diversified. It's kind of crazy. We had to literally depend on Chris Rodriguez this hard. I was not expecting that coming in this game. But we certainly know he's capable now. We do have other people get involved. But Alan Daly, after having the 100-yard performance, probably heavily scouted. And they wanted to shut him down for sure. And of course, if you didn't know, our third game of the season is against Louisville. And yes, bad blood, there will be blood. <laughs>